Backstage, the Billboard Awards Radio Room. It's your morning mess. How you doing? It's Joey Boy. Natasha Castles. And it's Anish. Uh, I'm Billy Ray Cyrus. Hey, Billy yes. Ray Cyrus. Part of the Billy. show. Come on. Come on. How are we? I'm great, man. How you doing? Um, I'm very excited for Good. this moment. I think we're going to get right into this. because all, Should we? <laughs> all, for like a week long, we find out you're going to be here, right? Mm -hmm. Our very own Natasha Castles. Well, I'm going to let you take over, Natasha. All right. So, obviously, my first introduction to Billy Ray Cyrus is Achy Breaky Heart, but the Spanish version. Oh. Yes. So, we yes. met Noah uh, yes. for the first time at Grammys. We okay. did the dance with her, and you I did. sung it in Spanish, Spanish. and it kind of be my bucket list to do it with you. In Spanish. <laughs> in uh, Spanish. You know what? <laughs> You tell me when you're ready. I'll sing it. Did, did you know there was like the, the, the like land dancing? Okay. No rompos más. Mi pobre corazón. Me harás mi pedazos. Quiere lo. Yeah. Si quiero poco más. Hey, I don't know the rest of it. There's a dance. No rompas más. Uh -huh. like, like yeah. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, well, bucket list crossed off. Now, obviously, you have two beautiful daughters in the spotlight. What kind of pep talks do you give them? I tell them to watch what I do and don't do that. Okay. Really? Oh. Yeah, that's usually a pretty. You know what I mean? Like that. Learn by my mistakes. Right. And then that that leaves just the rest is easy. You know what I mean? Right. Just right. Right. See what the old man did. Then, you know. Play it safe from there. Was it was it difficult having some of those conversations? Do you get specifics like this is what Dad did back in the days? Don't do this. No, you know what I really uh, I was joking. What I really say to him is, and they've heard many of the greats and legends that had came through the house writing songs. Of course. Whether it's Ed King from Sweet Home Alabama, Lynn wow. Skinner, or wow. know, Waylon Jennings, um, uh, George Jones, and a lot of Dolly Parton. Right. All of those great artists, including Johnny Cash, they all said the same thing, and the kids know this. Keep the music real and be who you are in sure. your music. Keep, let the music be your truth and make music for the world. You know, Don't limit yourself to this or that, and don't be chasing the cat's tail, which means what's the latest trend. So well, if it's working yeah. for right. this guy, I'll go try that. That never was part of like what I did or what our music was about. It's about being original. All of those greats said the same thing. Be original, be who you are, and do your thing. Make your music because it comes from within. And I think both girls are really in full stride doing that right now. And totally. Now, I'm very proud of uh, With everybody, I mean, not even just the girls. I know that you even have uh, multiple people in the family that are in, uh, in music. But how involved are you in their music? Like, when it comes to, like, Miley's new single, right. Malibu, is she running that by you before she's putting huh. that out? Yeah. Honestly, we love to uh, set with guitars. We play music all the time. Um, an average night when we get together might be... Here's a new song I wrote. Here's a new song I oh, wrote. Oh, really? And, so it's we'll not on a together. schedule. It just kind of just comes about. We we are a very play it by ear family. Like, <laughs> right. We've seldom ever had a schedule, to be honest. Right. Like, we play everything by ear. We, we play music by ear. We play life by ear. And when we get together, it's always organic and natural. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And you're staying busy. I mean, you're no stranger to the game. You're acting. And you're, I mean, uh, talk about the acting project right now. Well, I play a uh, dysfunctional Elvis impersonator. Which I, I love it. Yeah, it's so fun. I, and to make it worse, I lie my way into the church as a preacher. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah, I know, okay. I know. And, and then to make that worse, I also find out that I have a 15-year-old daughter that I never knew existed. Wow. So I become like the worst parent in history. <laughs> so all that to say, I had a lot of fun reinventing and finding a new character sure. out of Hannah Montana, which right. is like, where do you go from there? The opposite, opposite right? So I went to the opposite. <laughs> the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's fun. Uh, I found out that you get away with a whole lot more in life if you're dressed in Elvis's jumpsuit. Like, really? Yes. If you ever doubt that, don this jumpsuit and go to the Waffle House. People, we, <laughs> Did you do that offset? Like, offset? That's I, awesome. I, I do, I'll probably do it tonight. Like We were talking a little fashion about our jeans, yeah. right? You know, you, you bleached yours on accident, but yeah. it looks better than mine, which I bought these expensive-ass jeans, one bleach. Have you seen the new craze with guys wearing rompers? No. Have you have have you haven't seen that? I haven't seen it. They're called rompims. It's like you know what a romper is, right? With a girl sort with of. a romper. Would you ever wear a romp him? 
<laughs> oh, is that like baggy sweats and just a big baggy shirt? It's like the jumpsuit. If you took the jumpsuit that you wore for Elvis and you just kind of cut off the pants to make it a short. That would, would you be do that? comfortable. I think I would. You would well, wear it? comfortable. Would. Why not? Uh, maybe I would. Are you judging me? Billy yeah. Ray Cyrus would wear a romp I, I think so. Oh, my just God. wanted to ask. Yeah. Well, if ask. it came from... As long as it's got the Elvis eagle and all that, it's like you said, so it's gonna be hell. Yeah, man, all that. Oh, you're so tight. And speaking of the acting thing, and you, you brought up Hannah Montana, I think one of the biggest things that fans of both you and Miley would love is to see maybe a, a reunion. You know, uh, Raven Simone is doing That's a Raven again for the Disney Channel. So yeah, that's awesome. around that time was Hannah Montana. Maybe a Hannah Montana two coming. You know, you never know. You, I think one thing I learned is never say never. Okay. You know, as a matter of fact, I finished my first series doc, went four years and played a doctor. And I swore when I left that show, I said, I will never do another series. <laughs> oh, really? Now, eight months later comes the script of Hannah Montana. Wow. Well, what maybe, made you say, you know, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. And I was like, yeah, what made you say that you'll never do a series ever It's again. so hard. Oh, it was really? just so hard. I, bringing in the Elvis thing again, I, I felt like. And I learned this on set. When you become that character and you say those words off of that page and you stand where you're supposed to stand, and you, it becomes very scripted, no pun uh -huh. intended. Okay. And you lose a little bit of what the reality, especially as a musician, you lose that freedom. Mm -hmm. And when I hear Elvis sing Caught in a Trap, I, I think he sang that with so much realism because he was caught in his own trap of doing all those movies. Mm -hmm. And in today's world, a trap might be when you find yourself locked into a series, you know, that's really? just going forever and you're you're living those words. So and you, you think you have to pick and choose and focus on that one craft? I think it's a balance. Okay. You know, I, what I try to do, and I think the kids too, is find things that you can use all of your diversities to channel music. For, for me and for the girls, I think too, the music will always be what we do naturally as singer-songwriters. We do love acting, though, and so I never say never. Okay. How's I that for that. a very vague, broad stroke dance? <laughs> but so, <laughs> I'm trying to get training, you know, you got that <laughs> no, no, See, I've just been so honest. Like, yeah. honestly, like, that's the truth. It's never say never. You're so dope. I'm thanks, sorry. Like, you're so cool. Uh, thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate Thank you, for stopping you saying my, that. Like, we love it so much. This is an honor, thanks. a bucket list item for us. For Backstage sure. with Westwood One at the Billboard Music Awards, The Morning Mess with the legend. Billy, Billy Ray Cyrus. Cyrus. Thank you. Thank you.